Yo, what's cracking guys, Jervicious here, and if you're a Sprint customer and an Evo 4G owner, today's going to be an exciting day for you. Um, I know Android 2.2 isn't supposed to come out till August 3rd, but if you're one of the impatient people and who really want it, just like how I am, um, you can actually get it today, so check this out. Um, if you check the about phone and software information, you can see that my phone is updated to Android 2.2, which is Froyo. And let me show you how I got 2.2. Um, for me, it was a trial and error uh, process. A lot of people out there probably, it was probably easy for you guys, but you know, I was just, I'm still new to all this stuff, so I was just trying to figure it out. Um, if you guys could find the ROM uh, and download it to your phone, um, this is how you would install the update. So what you want to do is you want to open up your phone applications and if you have Android Zip, open that up. If you don't, then I suggest that you get Android Zip. Um, from here, it's going to have all these folders and what you want to look at or look for is download and from here is in the download folder is going to be all the things that you, that, that you've downloaded. Um, I've already I already uh, downloaded the the ROM. So um, after you download it and you go into Android Zip and you tap on the download folder, you want to look for the downloaded ROM. It's going to be titled Supersonic and Three Point Something. I forgot. But after you find that, you actually want to rename it to Update.zip, which I have done right here. Uh, if you don't know how to rename it, this is what you do. You just highlight or hold and tap and then you tap rename and then you just rename the file. From there, um, you want to move that file or that zip file to, I guess, the root of your SD card. I didn't know what that was, but then I figured it out. So what you want to do is you want to hold and tap again and you want to tap move. And then from there, you want to get out of this download folder by pushing back to the main SD card, um, I guess, folder, which has everything. And you want to tap move here, which is that button to the top right. Um, after you do that from there, what you want to do is you want to turn off your phone. And just power it off. This next, these next few steps is going to be a little tricky if um, if you've never done this or you're not familiar with, uh, I guess, programming or installing these custom ROMs. Um, but I'm going to try to make it easy for you guys. So next, um, you want to hold the down button on the rocker volume controls and the power button. And from here, you're going to get the screen. And what you want to look for, or first of all, let me just, uh, for all the new guys out there, um, the, to control the up and down, um, you use your volume rocker. So up is up, down is down. Um, the power button is the select. So what you want to do is you want to actually select recovery and then hit the power button and then from there your Evo is going to look like it's going to um, reboot and what I did was I held the power button and the up on the volume rocker and you're going to get this warning symbol um, don't worry your phone is not in danger um, after that, what you want to do is you want to hold the power and up on the volume rocker and it's going to take you to this screen. And then from here, you want to select apply SDS card update or the update.zip file that you had and it's going to appear right there. 
and this is pretty much the final step. So uh, once you select that with the power button, um, what the evil is going to do is, is it's going to update your phone and this is going to take at least 15, 20 minutes, maybe even longer. So make sure you have your phone charged or have it plugged into a phone charger. And then from there, um, it's going to say update complete and it's going to like reboot the system and then you have to manually um, reboot it or select it, I mean, sorry, by pushing the, the power button by selecting and pushing the power button um, and then from there your phone's just gonna do the whole update process like how you did with the uh, original OTA and just give it some time and you will get 2.2 on your phone so good luck and I hope you guys enjoy uh, Froyo and 2.2 and and I'll make another video with um, all the Froyo updates and check out Flash and everything else so enjoy have fun peace